Hey everyone, I wanted to make a video and seize the moment and capture some thoughts that I'm having. Uh, just so you know, I'm currently in Ocean City, New Jersey, and I'm heading south on the coastal uh, roads here on the coastline and getting ready to go over a bridge into Sea Isle City. Um, but my thoughts are this, um, in that I'm outdoors a lot. Uh, obviously, I'm nomadic, but I've recently in the past several years have embraced being outdoors and embracing nature is something therapeutic and healthy for your well-being, uh, specifically with regards to weight loss and um, fitness. But what I am seeing, and I see it even more so in the summer months when people are on vacation and they're by the beach, is I see an extreme amount of people jogging and running. I don't begrudge them for that because I did it for years, and to some extent, it's wisdom. But to, to the extent where it's not wisdom is people are running and jogging thinking that it's going to change their body frame. Let me expand on that. I don't care if you run 20 miles a day. If you have a flat butt body frame, your butt is going to stay flat. Okay, You may get a little bit skinnier, you're going to look better and you're gonna feel better. So it's wisdom to get in shape. But I have a somewhat square body shape, okay? I have a somewhat of a flat butt. And let me tell you something, I lost over 175 pounds. I don't care how much you work out, you're not gonna get a round apple butt no matter how many squats you do, no matter how much you run. You will get a little shapelier, so I'm not against it. But what I'm trying to say is, don't beat up your knees. Don't go in the gym and work out like a madman or a mad woman thinking that you're going to go for some, from some overweight Peggy Bundy eating bonbons on the couch to Jennifer Lopez. First of all, the foundation of health is 80% of your weight management and health and well-being is centered around the food you eat and how much you eat. It is not centered around your activity level. It took me the hard way to learn that. I started working, when I got really overweight, I started working out like a madman and lifting weights and I pinched a nerve in my chest. I thought I was having a heart attack and I really suffered for it. It took me about a year to get my body back in tune. So what I'm trying to say is you cannot eat on healthy food. And even though I understand and I have compassion is the mindset of I'm going to get into the gym and I'm gonna work this off. That's the wrong mindset. Because those type of people, I see them every day. They go into the gym, they beat their bodies up in an unhealthy manner because they're trying to feel better about themselves and I sympathize with it, I do, I have compassion, but you're hurting yourself, you're hurting yourself. You can lose all the weight you want and you can be in great shape by just walking. Just walk your way to health. Running and jogging. And working out like a madman or a mad woman in the gym is an unsustainable, unhealthy practice. I, even for people that are at the proper weight, I just saw a lady, she was jogging, she wasn't obese, she was at the proper weight for her height. And in her mind, I mean, I could almost say, she's thinking that she's gonna get a curvy body by keep running, but she's not. Excuse the wedding bells there, but she's not. What's gonna happen by keep jogging is she's gonna need two knee replacements, she's still gonna have a flat butt, she's still gonna have a small chest, and that's her body frame. Walk your way to health. For men too, men, you can eat, if you eat a bucket of chicken, if you go to Chick-fil-A for lunch, and then at night, to feel better about yourself, you go in there and you start throwing weights around, thinking you're gonna get built and in shape and you're gonna be some type of, you know, muscular guy that's going to take a shirt off at the beach, you're not going to do it. What you're going to do is you're going to pinch a nerve, you're going to strain a muscle, okay, and no matter how much you work out, you know, your body frame is your body frame. If you have a certain length of arms, your length of arms are always going to be that length. If you're at a certain height, I don't care how much, you know, calisthenics you do or how much posture practice you do, you're not going to be a tall man. Yes, work out, yes, stay active, and yes, be mindful of every healthy decision. And do not judge yourself, 
and do not beat yourself up. Look at this surfer. This is the beautiful part about living uh, by the ocean. I love it. God bless this guy. All right. So back to my thoughts. Please, please, your body frame is your body frame. A Jeep Wrangler will never have the body frame of a Ferrari. If you have a flat butt, if you run 20 miles each day, you're still going to have a flat butt. Okay? If you're not a tall man, if you work out like a madman, you're still going to be a short man. Do not, and I'm not saying any of this to be disrespectful or hurtful because I have my own body frame limitations and I've been overweight and I still struggle with weight. Recently, I've been overeating healthy foods and I put on, well, within the past six months, 20, 30 pounds because everything gets boring. I mean, I lost over 175 pounds. I used to be morbidly obese, but eating junk food gets boring. And then you eat nothing but healthy food and that gets boring. So you have to balance it out. But you have to build a sustainable lifestyle. And sometimes, yes, you do have to get extreme. But overall, as you balance out, you have to find a sustainable lifestyle. And that does not include, especially as you get older, it does not include a look at this person. See, you see that person jogging? I mean, she is not going to, her butt's not going to be good looking. And I love her. And my butt is only going to be a certain way. It's, just, it's not man, woman thing, and it's not a, a disrespectful statement towards overweight people. Because I don't judge anybody, I don't mock anybody. If you're overweight, go out there and walk. If you're overweight, go to the gym. Don't let anybody judge you. Don't let anybody mock you, because we all have our limitations. This video is meant to encourage you to walk your way to fitness. Do not physically harm yourself by doing these extreme workouts. Okay, you can engage in healthy activity at a sustainable level without causing harm to yourself. I'll close on this note. If your butt is flat, doesn't matter if you run 20 miles, your butt's still going to be flat. 80% of your health and weight management is based on what you eat and how much you eat. Focus on that. Walk each day. And when you walk, walk more than 15 minutes. Once you walk more than 15 minutes, endorphins begin to pump through your bloodstream. Your worries begin to go away. Your mind, body, and soul begin to get in unison. And they go to a different dimension and a different level of inspiration. Take care of your physical well-being as best you can. And stay inspired.